There's a collar muscle that goes this way. And that's the latissimus colli. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully kind of separate this because the trachea is right here. Is it that we are not corrugated? What was it? Corrugated. Like cardboard. That means it's got the little rings on it. Right? Yes. <clears throat> Good. Right. You guys are genius. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and on this, on this demo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Get underneath it. <sighs> I wish I could zoom in. I just want to separate that latissimus <clears throat> collie from the underlying muscle. That collie muscle. Yeah, I, I was like, but it didn't have any It is, and it's it's real easy to mistakenly cut away the layers underneath. <clears throat> like I just severed that right there. Right. <clears throat> so, do you see this muscle here that goes like it's like a rubber band? There's your almo hyoid. Right. Yeah, I've already got this. I'm gonna watch this over and over. And on here, this is a pretty small muscle. See that little, <coughs> little rubber band there? That's your sternomastoid. Sternomastoid. Now both of these, both of these, like on the, this is what, the left side of the turtle. They're attached to the head on the left side and they cross over to the sternum and uh, pectoral girdle on the right. And the ones over here cross over and attach on the left. So they crisscross. So <coughs> These are for the fine movements of the head side to side. For the, st the sternomastoid? Sternomastoid and the omohyoid. And the omohyoid. Yep. I see. So there's like another one on the other side? Here. Yep. So we're, they're paired set. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I, I still couldn't see the autism it's called. Is this this ring kind this, of thing? This is the stuff I peeled off. Oh, okay. So it goes okay. like this. It goes... So you've got one on... So one this side is intact. Yeah. And it goes to this side. Yeah. So there's a homohyoid here and one underneath there. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. There's your uh, depressor mandibular leg. Right there. See that? Flip over here. Depressor mandibulae, it curves around the bottom of the jaw. See it curving around? When that contracts, the bottom jaw opens. It depresses the mandibulae, it drops the jaw. Okay, sweet. You're also going to look on top to find the temporal muscle. And the temporal muscle is at the top of the skull and it goes down and, and attaches the lower jaw. That's where it contracts and closes. Um, as I go a little deeper here. <clears throat> I'm going to go next to the trachea. Oh, it's so intense. Mm -hmm. oh, it sticks right out. Yeah, and I'm going to sever it. So there's your opening into the air way. It's so thick. Yep. So, if you're careful, later on, you can dissect out the entire lung set. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, or at least get it all visible, and if you wanted to, you can blow on that, and you can watch the lung set down. <laughs> I think I'm joking. I don't think I would put it past myself for trying it.
Yeah. Probably clean it off or anything. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't put my mouth on it. Yeah, I know. Tricep <clears throat> So get that out of the way. Well, what I'm going to do is try and, <clears throat> without ruining too much stuff, get down a little deeper here. I think what I just did there, see how that's, that's the esoph, that's the esophagus, that's part of the esophagus there. Yeah, there's, that is the inside of the esophagus, okay, so you can, that would go down into the stomach. That's so cool. Okay. So the trachea is all rigid. Yes. <clears throat> That's right. Oh, well, look what I found. What's that? Is that Virginia Highlands? No. <laughs> look in your diagrams. Isn't that what you just were talking about? The long... The longest collie? Longest turkey neck? Longest oh. See that shape there? So like a semi-triangle, like a V? Yeah, V-shaped. That's the longest collie. That's a, a wrap of muscles right around the, the cervical column. Now, up in here, you know, I showed you these uh, amohyoid and sternomastoid. Now, any other major muscle group you find down in here, these are all fingers of the retrohens. Oh. Right? There's a finger of the retrohens there. There's a finger of the retrohens there. And they're going to be all the way around. Right? Yeah, they all shh, in the back of the skull. Yeah. Now these are very flexible muscles. They're very, very tough. <clears throat> what you need to do is skin these limbs. And we talk about limb muscles. Okay.